the God Emperor Pentultimate, a high order, deep cut, face turning dodecahedron. Don't let the perfect turning and shiny tiles fool you. This puzzle is 100% 3D printed. I designed it and 3D printed every single part on my own household 3D printers. It took over a year of experimenting with my printers to develop the strategy used to create this. Not all of my experiments were smashing successes. Go. No. But persistence, trial and error, and a little help from my friends has proven that the potential of 3D printed twisty puzzles is far better than ever imagined. From my past experiences, I learned it's always a good idea to over-engineer the core of a puzzle to be indestructible. The God Emperor Pentultimate requires three invisible layers in order to geometrically exist in a way where it doesn't explode. I made these layers extra thick to ensure the core is stable and never has issues. Part of why this whole puzzle turns so well is because the core was engineered like a speed cube. The tiny pieces fill in the gaps, like a jigsaw falling into place. I'm going to attempt the first turns. The other makes just for size comparison. It's bigger and a lot heavier. I'm so scared this is going to explode. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Go. Awesomeness. After fully breaking in the puzzle, I began to prepare the colored tiles. These are printed in a different material, ABS. ABS is special because its surface melts when exposed to acetone. After the acetone evaporates, we're left with a mirror-like shiny surface. Each piece is sanded to flatten the side that will be glued to the puzzle. The sanding dust is washed off. The pieces are laid out to dry. And finally, the tiles are set in place with CA glue. The one really fun thing about it is it squishes, it's squishy. It just feels like really fun, it feels really weird. Squish it around like this. Like, it's very satisfying. One of my favorite things about this thing is that it, it can squish like this and then it can also turn just so freaking well. Another thing about this is it's very dense. It's like solid, it's heavy. It's, it's 11 pounds. You gotta be strong to lift it up so it's pretty hard to play with when you're holding it because of that. I mean, you still can. If you want to own your own copy of this, I sell them on my Etsy shop, linked in the description. Thank you for watching to the end. I just want to say, this project took a lot of time, energy, and money. It was so worth it, even just from the fun I had learning and tinkering. I'm working on other huge puzzles, some are even completed, and I'm just procrastinating making videos for them. So if you want to see even bigger, even more epic puzzles. I humbly ask that you support my channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with anyone who you think would find it interesting. As always, personal inquiries are welcomed. I will happily share any of my knowledge for this craft with anyone interested. I already have many videos on how to design puzzles, so that's a great place to start if you're new and interested in making puzzles like this.